Hello everyone, it's me, Venice. And John. And Belle. Hey and Belle. Belle. Belle, say hello to everybody. Say hello to the people out there, Belle. Say hello. Okay. Camera, baby. So we wanted to come on here and actually start a podcast. Or would it be considered a podcast since we don't have the professional equipment yet? No, not really. We just just you know just having a discussion out there and okay. you know. So, we're going to discuss today some of the comments that were made um, with my last Kendra Live regarding an update about my uh, relationship with John. And it was basically me um, going on there, updating everyone about me actually meeting someone from Kendra Singles, um, which I did in January and 2000. In 24 this year and basically I just let her know that I ended up meeting someone a month later after actually um, being on her show on Instagram and while doing that, I just saw so many negative comments and it's really sad like all the negative a lot well I had there was positive comments and there was negative comments but I basically was informed like a lot of times throughout the live like where or like where's he at this that whatever you know obviously he does exist and this is him in the flesh what are you doing out there what's up so man? yeah but um i just wanted to just talk about how people are just really i don't know very a lot of negative stuff out there right? yeah just, just a lot of like and, negative and, and it's stupid and yeah. it doesn't make any sense yeah it's like nobody wants anyone to be happy and we keep talking about the black community, but to me, it's not really a community because if you know the definition of community, it's not how we operate as a whole. Yeah. You know, I mean, some of us are positive and, and some of us are negative, but we tend to feed more on negative, uh, negativity than positivity. And it's really sad because it's pretty much our downfall. But anyways, I um, wanted to come on here and just talk about some of the comments. So one of the comments was like, oh, you're so dumb. You're, you know, you don't have any children. You're going to get with the man that has children. And it, that's, that's, that's stupid in itself because, you know, you, you love who you love. You meet who you meet. You know, you interact who you interact. And, you know, you, you, you start from there and then you, you build on it. Then you go, you know. And not even that, like John takes care of all his children. So... And majority of, of his children are all, they're adults. So. 27, uh, 23, 22, and 16. So, yeah. Um, then the second thing was like, oh, you're going to be a maid. You're going to be a chef. No. You're going to be a nanny. No. I'm like, what? I mean, in this relationship, we're going to work on what we need to work on in the relationship. So. If I need help on something, I got Venice here to help me. And if she need help on something, you know, I'm there to help her. We, we're here to build each other, grow, mm -hmm. you know? So I don't know what all these people out here, that, what they talking about, like, I mean. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't make, it makes no sense. Then another question was like, because I did state that I've never been in a relationship with a black man. They're like, oh God, so she's just testing it out or whatever. Like for me, like I stated in the video, I mean, in the live that for me coming from California, I did deal with a lot of colorism and it was like, oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl or, you know, I don't really like darker complected girls. But if you're from California, you might know as a black woman how hard it is to actually date someone that actually looks like you, especially if you're trying to date someone that is decent. You know, like for me, I was approached a lot of times by like thuggish type of dudes. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with that, but for me, I, I can't get myself in situations where I could possibly be ending up in jail or caught up in a situation. <laughs> I've never... I don't think it's that deep, baby. No, it, it has been. I I, I dealt so? with someone that was well, like that, and um, he I didn't even know he was... Uh, one time I went over to his place, and him and his buddy were uh, cooking um, uh, cocaine. Uh, no, no, crack. Mm -hmm. I woke up and I'm like, what is that smell, whatever? And him and his buddy were cooking crack. Could you imagine me like yeah. going to jail for that? And and it's like, you're guilty by association. They're not going to be like, oh my God. Hey, you girl right there that was sleeping, 
you're 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 exempt from this whole situation yeah. and we're just going to only arrest other two that are in there actually cooking up the the crack i was like oh my. and anyone that really knows me i'm a very scary person i like that fear has kept me in line and i don't i've never associated myself with anyone that has really gone to jail or, or been caught up uh doing like uh selling drugs or anything like that so i just don't want to do it that at all but i tend to attract that they always tell me you're different or you don't have any scandal or what are well, you or where are you from or you oreo or whatever that, that was the whole you know that's that's the whole dating thing it's when you date you're supposed to just find out information about the person yeah you know you go on a couple of dates you find out if you have children you find out if he has you know um like you said uh what kind of occupation he has selling drugs you find out yeah. you know who his mother, who his father is, you know, you, you find a little background about, you know, you know, the person that you're dating, you know. Yeah. You know, but um but like me and Venice, if you know, when we met, we dated, mm -hmm. you know. I laid everything down. I said yeah. I had children. She said she had no children, she lived in LA. I lived here out here in New York. You know, we you know, we went through the whole questionnaire thing. I flew out to come see her. Actually, she of came course. out to come see me, like, the next three weeks. And then, yeah. you know, we kept doing it back and forth for a while. And then we got to know each other. Then, you know, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I love spending time with us. You know, she loves spending time with me. We went out. We had fun. We laughed. Mm -hmm. We joked. We, we even talked about having children. We talked about, I mean, a whole bunch we of stuff. We talked about everything. Like, like everything. everything. So it was like, you know, like, why not? Let's, 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 let's do it. Let's get together. Yeah. Let's, you know, make yeah. it happen. And for mm -hmm. me, when I like first met him, like we were both nervous or whatever, but like literally after, you know, us walking through the mall and stuff in that whole mall, yeah, tobacco, like. <laughs> did you tell him that story? I did tell him a little bit about it, but like, do you want to, do you want to say something about that? Well, what part though? The whole mall? I was, I was talking about walking through the mall and like us going to different stores and you me, like me up trying in, on clothes and yeah the, yeah the clothes part I already said that but like even in the in the in the um foot locker you yelling out oh yeah, oh, yeah. what'd you say because i'm from new york so you know we just say yeah we you know we just scream out you know let me get a size whoop 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. and you know Vinny's is like no no you know shh, shh, yeah, calm down i was like no nah, that's how we do it but then you know i forgot i was in l.a I, Maybe in LA they do that too. I don't know. I just never would be like, so, yo, what'd you say? Yo, boss. It's like, yo, boss, man. Yo, you got you got this in size 10? And she was like, yo, you know, calm down. Why are you screaming? I'm trying to get his attention, you know. But Yeah. But anyways, besides that, like, it, it, was, it was really good. Like, I felt like literally that day, I was nervous in the be beginning, but after, like, actually being around him, and us talking to each other and it mellowing out or whatever, I felt really comfortable. And we just kept going back and forth, like seeing each other, like he stated. And um, for me, like at the time I was like, like I downloaded Hinge, I downloaded um, Bumble. Like I talked to a few guys or whatever, went on a couple dates, but my connection with him was just so strong. Like I would just talk to him like pretty much every day. We would just talk to each other every day. And when he was at work, I'll talk to him. He'll talk to me when I'm at work on my break, whatever. And we throughout talk every day, every I mean, day, every, every day, day, every day. You yeah. know how when you wait, I'm sorry, baby. You know how you when you when you first meet someone and you and you enjoy their company and it's and it's and it's, and it's um, how can I say it's you just so into that person and you just willing to stay up all night because she's three hours. What you three hours behind? No, it's three. Yeah, three hours behind. She was three hours behind, three hours behind. So I had to get up like four in the morning to go to work and I'm on the phone with her and then, you know, I'm up to like to the crack of dawn. I don't even go to sleep. I'm going to work and she'll call me and then we just like, we just, mm -hmm. just on the phone with like forever. And it was funny though, because I remember in the beginning, like you were telling me like sometimes you would just wait to like, okay, is she going to call me again? Oh yeah. Like. Yeah. I can remember an incident where, um, so it's six o'clock in the morning for me, but for you, it's three in the morning. Mm -hmm. So if it's 10 in the morning for me, it's it's seven o'clock for you. Mm -hmm. And I'll be waiting for her phone call because I'm already up. So I'm three hours ahead. So I'm up. I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. I'm like, dang, is she going to call me today? 
Like, okay, she's been working hard. Okay. So I'm sitting there, like, contemplating this all in my head. And, and then I come home. Like, we'll talk through the day. We'll talk that morning when she get up. And then, like, when I come home around, like, 7 o'clock, it's, like, 4 o'clock for her. And then I'm like, dang. So I'm setting up the tables. I'm, I'm making sure I'm, I ate already. I took my shower. And I'm just sitting there just waiting for her to call me because, you know, because she's at work. And, you know, I'm just so excited. And I just want to just talk to her and just hear her voice and just hear her smile. And I got to make her laugh. I don't even know what to say to her. Like, you get these butterflies. But, you know, it was worth it, though. Yeah, it was. It was worth it. Yeah, I would, like, there would be literally times, like, I would, like, wake up in the middle of the night just to, like, go tinkle. And I would call him because I already knew he was up. I was like, let me call him. And we would just talk. And then I'm like, man, I got to go back to bed. Like, it's like three in the morning over here. You know, it's like, oh. Yeah, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter if she called me two, three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning. I would still pick up that phone yeah. just to hear from her. I was like, oh, what you doing now? Oh, I'm just using the bathroom. I just wanted to hear you. And then, you know, you know that does, you know what that does to me? Uh, that, 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 that makes me feel, I don't know. It just, it just melts my heart. Uh. Just somebody just giving me that attention you yeah. know just thinking of me and it feels good yeah when it it came to the point though there was times where i i could not talk to you like for instance if i was getting ready for work or whatever i just started to realize after the third time of me running late to work i was like you know what i can't talk to you babe until i get in the car because when i talk to you i gotta sit and think and i gotta really figure out what i'm gonna say you know, or I get distracted and I'm trying to get ready, like to pick out my outfit and do my makeup, my hair and stuff like that. So I just started telling them, I'm going to start talking to you when I get in the car so I can actually make it to work on time. Because if I talk to you before then, I'm just going to be just thinking and like, like, I don't know, just saying something. Let's see stuff. how beautiful she is. So imagine she's calling you at 10 in the morning and she's getting ready for work and it's like 10 and 11 o'clock in the morning for me and it's like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning for her and then she's getting ready and she's putting, I'm watching her put on her makeup and I never experienced that before just to see a beautiful woman put on makeup early in the morning just to get ready and it takes about like two hours no it took two hours two hours for me okay completely completely getting in a shower getting out the shower putting lotion on putting perfume on Laying out my clothes, ironing my clothes, doing my hair. Okay, doing my four makeup. hours. Okay, I'm going to No, hours. no, two two hours. It'll be like two hours. It'll be like two hours. So, and that's now how I got I... my makeup down to like twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You got it down to forty five minutes. No, twenty five. It took me twenty five today. Yeah. Yeah, because I already got my lashes done and I got my eyebrows done. Oh, see. So yeah. Put that out. And I don't wear liquid foundation. I just wear powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Just imagine just, just watching somebody every morning doing that, you know. Yeah. From LA and I'm in I'm in New Jersey. And you know, that, that just makes my day just one of makes me go out there and just work even mm -hmm. harder. And and then I'm just starting to think like, yo, I can see, I gotta have her. She gotta be with me. Like I can't do this long distance relationship. Yeah. I gotta I need this I need this woman over here with me. I need her mm -hmm. to be with me. I wanna wake up to her. Mm -hmm. And then now she's Yeah, and I wanna and I want to wake up next to you too. I hate having to talk to her on the phone. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I do. I hate having to talk to her on the phone. Give me a kiss. She's a beauty. So, the, so in them comments and people doing all that talking, mm -hmm. I don't know what they talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I think, and it's crazy though because there's so many lonely people. There's so many people in those comments that don't even have anybody in their life. You know, women out there, don't get, don't, pass out on men that have um, children. Don't pass out on men because they don't make a certain amount of money. Oh, that's another thing too. Everyone's like, oh my God, he's broke. He's this, that, whatever. Even though I wasn't even thinking about financially, like it was more about how the person made me actually feel. It wasn't about finances, but he actually isn't broke. So <laughs> that's a plus. Uh -huh. Like, And see, the thing is though, when you are a person and your intentions are based on finances, like you would listen to Kendra all day long and all the women are like, I want to make a man, I want to be, I want, I'm, I'm looking for a man that makes six figures. I'm looking, he has to be six, two or six, eight, dark, handsome. He can't have any children. 
he can't it's like a long list of people and then like okay good luck because a man like that he's not necessarily but he's gonna have a whole list of what he's expecting and a woman as well like a woman that may right. not have any children she might have to be a virgin she attends a church every sunday he wants her to stay home start popping popping out children she has to dress a certain type of way maybe she can't have any friends like i don't know the list could go on and on so if you're a woman and you're basically just thinking about that and you're not really looking to like actually meet someone and actually get to know someone as a human being good luck with that you know as an actual person like you know no one's perfect at all no we all have perfect. we all have our flaws and stuff like that but i like i'll be stupid to just pass out on someone because they have children and not even that he's like i stated before he's a widow you know like yeah. i never dated anyone that had children obviously i've never had you know everyone a lot of my friends and family members were telling me oh my god Venice, you need to be with someone that is like without children because you don't have any children but they're broken women or they're i don't know they're broken or they're single or they're i don't know they just though they made a uh, bad decisions on on the men that they chose yeah and they try to put that on not, not just saying beneath but they just spreading yeah. you know just bad rumor because you know? then you have to think about it what about all the men that don't have children willing to date women that have children you know like it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not right to do that mm -hmm. and like i stated before in the um kendra update the majority of his children are pretty much adults they're adults like i don't really have to the only one like i interact with a little bit i mean why well, interact with all of them but like sam i'll just like sam hey you got to do this whatever you know i don't want to do he's going to go ahead and do it you know but um yeah, like it's not, and I do plan on having children, so I'm gonna have. So this I'm is gonna, a good practice. Yeah, I'm gonna have my little vintage. I'm gonna have them. So vintage. Yes, vintage. Like yeah. Vintage what? Vintage new women. No. What's vintage, the middle name? The um. I think it starts with an A, right? Uh, I I chose uh, let me let me forget uh. Marion. Marion. Okay. Vintage, vintage Mary, Mary New Women. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I don't know. If it's a girl, that's going to be her name, too. Vintage, too. Right? Vintage. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vintage. <laughs> I just really like that name. I really do. Yeah, I like it, too. But, yeah, just like, I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, don't listen to nobody. Like, I don't know. Just follow your heart. Go with your heart. And just be smart, though, too. Like, don't, obviously, you know, pick pick wisely. Like, you know, like, don't just fall for just anything and listen to your gut. For me, my throughout this whole relationship, like, I never had any feelings of like, okay, this person's a liar. This person's this, this person's that. Like, I didn't really feel, I didn't get any of those feelings at all. Like, you know, like some of the dates and stuff that I went on, like, it was crazy. Though. Some of the dates that I went on, I was just thinking about him the whole entire time. Like, man, I can't wait for this date to be over so I can go talk to John on the phone. Cause I remember what what happened. Um, I texted you, yeah. and she never responded back yeah. until like two weeks later. So then I text. I guess she probably had found somebody already. Mm -hmm. And then that's when she called, and I missed the phone call. And then I called her, and then she didn't pick up. And then she called me back. So then I picked up. So now it's like yes, okay. There was an opportunity for me to call her. And then you know we we're talking, and she be like, yeah, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm about to go on this date, and. You know, I'm about to do this and I'm about to do that. So then I'm like, all right, and you know, so I got to play it cool. But I did say, you know, I, you know, I would fly out there to come see you, you know. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, oh, okay, you know, that'd be great, you know. But uh, talk to you later, bye. I'm going on this date. And she leaves you go on that date. Then she come back and tell me like, you know, hey John, you know, I was sitting here on this date with this guy, and uh, he was so boring. I'm over here sitting here thinking about you on our next conversation. I'm like, all right. I was like, all right, you know, that's what's up. I was like, you know, I'm climbing up the ladder, I guess. I'm getting closer. Mm -hmm. Until one day, you know, we made that arrangement and then um, came out to see her. Mm -hmm. So I guess I won. Yeah, you won. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm really like, I'm just really happy that I met you. Like I, like I even stated with Kendra, I was like, if it wasn't for her platform, I would have never met John. Like, I would not met you. Because I was... And it was weird, though, because when I did download Hinge, there was a bunch of people from the East Coast just visiting California. And I literally had someone say to me, oh, 
I'm not really from out in California. I'm just out here visiting. Y'all just trying to see if I can meet up or hook up with somebody. And he said, oh, wow, really? That's what you, like, I'm like, that's sick. Like, I mean, <laughs> I don't like know. Just, just flowing we, out there just to see if they can see something, meet up with somebody yeah, or I'm find somebody like, wow, walking on like, Sunset Boulevard or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Or something. Good word. But what's that? Western. Called? La Brea and. Uh, La Brea. And all those. Crenshaw things. and. Yeah, so all of the streets out there. What yeah. more you took me to out there? You took me to a couple more Beverly Hills Mall. Oh, yeah, the Beverly Center. Then I took you to Fox Hills Mall. Okay, um, I think that's it. What? No, what was the other one that you took me? You had you had me drive all the way on the other side of town. The, oh, that was the Fox Hills. That was the Fox Hills. Yeah, that was Fox Hills. It was another mall you took me to. What else? I think you took me back to three malls. Did I take you to Crenshaw Mall where there's like nothing there? Security was in a way. It was like in a big ass parking lot, and security had to pat me down in order to walk us out the mall. And it was like like a like a thrift shop or something like that. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. It was a ramp. We went up our little ramp. We went in one way. Oh, and we oh, came out, you're talking and we about came, the Slauson Swap Me. Yeah, we came the Slauson Swap Me. Yeah, I took you there. You okay. took me to. Um, yeah, the Slauson Swap Me. What's this? Out and in? In and out? Oh, in and out. How'd you feel about in and out? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, you, he don't really like red meat. Yeah. He eats a lot of chicken and a lot of fish. Yeah, I mean, uh, what else you took me to? I seen a. Uh, you took me over to Nipsey Hustle. Oh, oh yeah. Over there on Crenshaw Slauson. Yeah. I like it out there. It's cool out there. Yeah. How do you feel about California though? You told me that you feel like California is like um it's a little behind. I think. California to New York. Yeah. California is yeah, it's open. There's a lot of desert. It's open. It's um, it's a laid back state, and I feel that it's just like two, three years behind. Maybe it's not like New York. It's not a, like a, a fast pace. It's it's more of a um, sun is out. I'm chilling. I'm cool. I got my shorts on. I'm you know. I got my you know. I'm just just chilling. I'm not trying to hustle you. I'm not trying to. Fast pace, you know that you know on the go. Mm. You know I don't even see any trains out there. Does it? Yeah, there's there's the the metro rails. Yeah, I like New York. So you know, New York got all sorts of trains. You got the B, the B, the A, the C, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, mm -hmm. ten, the F, the shuttle, the buses out there. Yeah, we have buses. We have like the metro rails, and then we have the metro link, and those are the trains that take you like further out, like. San Francisco to San Diego. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that take you further out. Yeah, I like New York. I really like New York though. Mm -hmm. How I feel about New York, I feel like I remember when you first took me, I felt like um it's overly You said glam it smells. <laughs> it's overly glamorized. It's I feel like no no, my bad. I feel like Hollywood really glamorized it. For me I watched like a lot of like uh, Spike Lee movies, a lot of Woody Allen movies, and those are a lot of those movies are based in New York. And I was just like, oh my, and Sex in the City, obviously. So in my mind, when I went to New York, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get my Sex and the City on, you know, I'm gonna get, you know, um, I don't know, I was just, I was just experiencing this euphoria of like, oh my god, it's gonna be just so magical and glamorous and all these things like that. And when I went, it just smelled like piss, you know, don't human, human people. remains. Don't lie to the, the shopping. The shopping is nice. When we went to 34th Street in Macy's and we, we, we stopped at uh, Coach. Oh, yeah, I love Coach. Yeah, well, I like to shop, but I can shop anywhere. I can shop anywhere, though. But yeah, I will, but I won't lie. That is a great, a great mall. What is it? What kind of mall? What is that mall called? Macy's. It's just Macy's? It's Macy's. Okay, well, that's like, that's the best Macy's I've ever been to because it has high-end brands as well. Even though I'm not crazy about no Louis Vuitton. I'm not, I'm not crazy about no Louis Vuitton. I'm not, like. I took her to 42nd, 34th. I took her to Columbus Circle. I took her to, 
What else we go? We went to a party out in the Bronx. My, mm -hmm. boy, my brother's, uh, no, actually it's uh, Manhattan, uh, Spanish Harlem. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother's birthday. Um, took her to, um, where did we go? We hit the fish spot on 125th Street. Oh, yeah. that place was really good. Yeah. Especially when I brought the food home and I was able to add more seasonings and stuff like that. It was yeah. even better. Yeah. Took it down to 57th Street. Took it down to... We went to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Met with one of my daughters. I should just introduce her to my daughter, Heaven. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So... Got a lot of places to go. Yeah. And we're mm -hmm. thinking of, you know... By the way, we are... We bounce between New York and New Jersey. So, but I think me personally, I like New Jersey better than New York. Yeah. I think I like New Jersey a lot better than New York. Only because I feel like it's, you can, I like to drive. I'm a city girl, but I feel like New York is just too city-like. Like, crowded. it's crowded as hell. Yeah. Everyone's stacked on top of each other. It's like night and day, you can walk a block and it's completely clean and then it's trapped. Like, no, and I'm not hating on New York. Like, I'm mad respect for all the people from New York, whatever. I just, for me, I'm just not used to it. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You got to move fast. You got to move fast. One thing I noticed about the East Coast, and it could just be me, I feel like it's, vit it's very vitamin D deficient. I feel like from being from California, having the sunshine and the great weather, people over here tend to be very, like, angry, sort of, or very, but, but they're, but someone was saying, oh, it's not us being angry over here. We're just real over here. Just stating like all the Californians are fake. I don't really think that's what it is. It's like, I think the lack of sunshine over here, like, you know, the weather's not the best. I think people are just not that happy. Ain't nothing wrong with us. Yeah. She's just I, saying used to it. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think some of you guys are not. <laughs> I think some of you guys are just not that happy. Yeah. You don't think so? Like, I've never yeah. went to so many different places and you just add, like, you order something, whatever. They don't even look at you. Oh, here's your total, blah, blah, blah. Okay, have a good day. Like, everything is just... It's like it's like pulling teeth here. Gotta right? hurry up. Gotta get it going. Gotta get yeah. this money. One thing I do like about New Jersey, though, compared to New York, is that they actually pump your gas for you. You don't have to get out of your car. Yeah. They'll pump your gas. So I love that. I love that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the good things. Like yeah. What else do you want to say, babe? I don't know, we're just talking. Um, that's it, people. We'll get back to you tomorrow, I guess. We'll pick a different topic or something. Okay. This is the first. This is a test, though, you know. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Testing. Well, we're going to come back. We're going to get back at you. Okay. We'll give you some new updates. Oh, when we come back, we can talk about the cruise that we went on. Seven day cruise. Yeah, you guys saw plenty of those photos. I definitely shared every day like outfits and stuff like that. I will say this: that would be my first and my last cruise. Cruises are not for me. Yeah, that's they're, not for me. they're not that for shit, me. They're not for me. How are you gonna get on a boat for like three days? You make it finally to the island, and because they had a man made island, what is a coca? Coco Coco K Coco K Island is their made island from the Royal Caribbean, and then you show up in the Bahamas and you're the in the Bahamas, I kid you not, for six hours. Six hours. And then they turn around and they head back home. You're better off flying there and right. then enjoying, you know, the four days or five days. So I would suggest to actually just physically wow. fly to whatever destination you want to go to. But anyways, that was our short um, first segment of me and him sitting down and talking to you guys about our experiences so far of being together in the East Coast and me. Where is that? Yeah. We're happy. We want other people to be happy. And we'll continue doing these. Right. Peace out. Later. Later. See you. One. See you. Okay, now let's. Let's, let's kiss him and take.